What's going on YouTube, GSNow right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12 jailbreak. Yes, one has been released and you can install tweaks with it, but yeah, it's a developer jailbreak, so there are a lot of things that we need to discuss about this jailbreak before you go ahead and download it and, you know, possibly do something bad. So this has been made available by Jake James in here, he called it a rootless jailbreak. Now I made a video about rootless a few days ago, but at that point it was in the stage where you only had SSH, no tweaks, no theming and so on. It has been updated though two days ago, but I didn't want to make a video about this and you're going to see why. So this jailbreak itself is pretty much for developers, but you can use it if you are a normal user and you can enable tweaks, you can enable themes and that would pretty much work pretty fine for you. However, it's a fiddly procedure and this is why I didn't want to make a video in the first place because if you are not very familiar with how iOS works and patch and Xcode and so on, you should probably stay a little bit away from it and wait for a proper jailbreak like Uncover or Electra to be updated because those are in the works, that's for sure, and it won't take long before they are available. We need a remount for them to be available and a core trust bypass. However, what is a rootless jailbreak? Well, it's available in here. There is no IPA as far as I can see, so you would have to compile it yourself with Xcode, which is not an easy task. There are errors, there are things you need to fix. You have to include the object file, you know, the jailbreak lib file uh, into the Xcode project. So there are a lot of things you need to do in order to compile it. And of course you need a Mac. Now, after you compile it, there is a fiddly procedure to even get the tweaks to work. The reason behind that is that we pretty much cannot run, you know, fake signed binaries because of core trust. So Jake James found a very clever method to load tweaks, but it's still not an easy task. And this is why I say that this jailbreak is not meant for, you know, normal people, for people who do not have a lot of experience with iOS. But anyways, if you want to continue, there is this website in here that has been put together by this guy in here, um, Ben Mitchell. And this website it pretty much explains you how to use the rootless jailbreak. It says work in progress, iPhone 6s and above. So no, iPhone 6 and 5s are not supported for the moment and there is no remount, which means that you cannot write to the main system partition. So we are of course a little bit limited on what we can do with this. Now you need a few things in order to get a tweak working with this and I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video because it would be too long. I will make a separate video on how to do that, though it's a fiddly procedure and I still recommend it to wait for a proper jailbreak. So you would need the rootless project in here, which is pretty much this one here. You would need a patcher, which is available at this link in here on GitHub. And then of course you need GeoFileza, which is my version of Fileza that works on iOS 12 without a jailbreak. And that can be found here on my GitHub account. And as you can see, you get the IPA file. Now, as I said, I cannot find any IPA file for rootless jailbreak. And even if you find them, if they're not official from Jake James, they're pretty much not trusted. So I would definitely not recommend you to use them. Anyways, you would have to compile it yourself. Yes, it works. There are a lot of tweaks that have been tested to work with this thing, so that's definitely great. It's a very big step forward. But as I said, and I cannot stress it enough, this is not an easy one button procedure. You have to patch stuff, you have to move things around, you have to, you know, compile things. So it's definitely not for people who do not have a lot of experience with macOS and iOS. However, this is just a beginning. A proper jailbreak will come, and I will definitely recommend it to wait for that. Now, speaking of waiting, there is nowhere to go anyways, because iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1 are no longer signed. Just a few hours ago, Apple stopped the signing services for iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1, leaving only 12.1.3 signed, which is completely useless for us because there are no exploits available, so there is no jailbreak coming for 12.1.3, so do not update. Anyways, iOS 12.x beta may still be available, so yeah, if you didn't make it to iOS 12.1.2 by now, you may want to check the betas, but you may want to do that now. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. I really wanted to, you know, tell you about this jailbreak and inform you on how it works and what it is. But yeah, I would definitely still recommend to wait for a proper jailbreak because the procedure with this one is definitely fiddly and you may do something wrong. There are not a lot of things you can do to destroy your device but it's still better to be safe than sorry. I will still make a tutorial though on how to install tweaks, but as I said, be careful. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, and till the next time, peace out.